We are in Berlin at the fixed point uh, drug consumption, mobile drug consumption unit and uh, I'm talking to Sebastian who is a social worker and working for the Neukölln drug consumption mobile unit or how do you say exactly. that? Can you just tell us more about this uh, service and uh, when it was started and what kind of people do you serve? Of course, we are in lo in located in Neukölln since 2021. We are close to the um, to the um, underground, the line U uh, U8, a very famous one. And on this line, we have uh, a lot of people who use drugs. There's a park close to close to the station, and um, it's a park where people use drugs. So can you talk, talk us about what you, what you see here? Here we see here a table, a seat. Um, here people can um, can sit down and take the drugs. Um, at first, I have to wash their hands to show what they want to con want to take, what drug they have to show us. Um, they, it's forbidden to, to share the drugs, so they have to, to use their, their own drugs. One of our, our major aims is HIV and hepatitis prevention among drug users. We want to have uh, here a room for people to, to, um, to consume in, at a safe place, without pressure. And we, here we have the possibility to address the people uh, with um, safer use information. We have a lot of stuff here. We have uh, needles, we have water, and here we have tiny, yeah, prepared yeah, kits. kits. We give kits to the people, to the drug users, and then it starts. And then the main drug is heroin, right? That heroin and cocaine. And but cocaine. Yes, so yes. they're shooting cocaine. Yes, they're shooting okay. cocaine, yes. On different places in the city, you have uh, the people prefer other substance. On one location, more heroin. On the other location, more cocaine. But is there a difference between who uses cocaine and who uses heroin? Like, is it maybe more richer, rich people use cocaine? No, if there is no difference. No, 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 no difference. No. Okay. Yeah, people who use this offering uh, often um, yeah, um, homeless, and the crack use increased over the last five, six years. And uh, it's a new phenomenon in Berlin. In the future, we hope we can provide a smoking a possibility for, for crack users and for heroin users who want to, to smoke and don't inject. Fixport was founded in, in 1989. And um, we started with a vending machine project in Berlin. Now we have 19 vending machines in the whole city and in the 19th we, we get the first vans and now we have two counseling vans and we have two um, drug consumption units and a medical van too and yeah we are we are growing yeah this is um, our um, counseling van here we have the possibility to take back uh, syringes and here, so here we have a little service area for coffee and tea. Here we can see the, the used stuff. When it's, uh, when it's full, we close it and uh, bring it to, to a special place for this stuff. And um, normally the people uh, are on the streets and we give it to the people, the needles and stuff. Yes, we have here different needles, we have cooker, we have um, filters, escobin, uh, we have everything you need uh, for, a, for a safe injection. Okay, Zweimal Folie, Wasser, Wasser. Zweimal Salz. Zweimal Salz. Super. Guck mal nochmal schnell rein. Alles drin. Perfekt. Vielen Dank. Mach's gut. Schönen Tag. Tschüss. And here you provide the testing also? Uh, the test, we provide here the testing, but normally we have an, another medical van. So it's better prepared for this, but here we are testing too, yes. It's Forbidden here to inject, it's only possi possible in this other van. Yes, we have to go to with two, two, two uh, vans because we need a social worker when we want to, to, to run the service. 
Hast du Blut äh, an Händen? Ja, ich nicht, aber ja. Der kann sich hier dann auch die Hände desinfizieren, ja? Guck mal. Hier ist Social Worker, Peers and in this van are nurses or medical staff. And so we are working together. Uh, and you sit down and are giving a consultation? Yes, yeah. here we can give a consultation. We have a computer, we have a, a mobile. We try to, uh, yeah, to support the people um, on the streets. Haben wir, haben wir Unterhose, weißt du das? Ja, haben wir. Haben wir? Willst du mal rübergehen? Meine Kollegin ähm, berät dich dann da, ja? And how many clients do you serve? Here in this uh, van, uh, located in, in Neukölln, yeah, maybe uh, f five to ten in four or five hours. It's not that much, but often they repeat um, consumption. And you said that you want to make a smoking uh, yes. room? Yes. It, would it be a different bus or the same? No, it's, it would be the same bus with a facility inside, with a cabin, a little cabin. How the needs of the crack users are different from the of heroin course. users? Yes. Can you talk about that? Bit? Yes, the, the craving is high, so they need a lot of um, con consumption um, uh, units. And a lot of crack users want to consume in a group. And it's not possible here. And it's not the best setting in the van for crack, crack uh, users. But we have no other opportunities. Oh. How many... Uh, Drug consumption rooms or buses are in Berlin? Um, only two. And it's uh, only buses or there are fixed? Uh, no, we have fixed, we have fixed rooms, uh, we have fixed um, facilities, two in Mitte, two in Kreuzberg and one in Neukölln, fixed places. And uh, if you could meet with uh, Herr Scholz and uh, <laughs> ask something from him, like what, what governments should do, what would you say to him? We, we need to decriminalize every substance and legalize all, all substance uh, for the people, because when they don't get in, when they don't get arrested, when they have uh, the opportunity without pressure to use their drugs, it's the best way to have um, harm reduction intervention. But in Germany, you can have a pres a prescribed medical heroin, right? Yes. Yes. You have to take diamorphine um, in the location. No, we have no possibility to take home. And do you think your clients also need medical heroin? Or? We have a lot of substance for substitution, and it's one uh, important um, um, substance for for the substitution treatment. But we need all. The, the people have different needs, so we need the whole range. Do you have any problems with the police? We have another view on the people. Uh, than the police. There are conflicts, of course, but we try to manage the conflicts. We, we gave no names, no data to the police. And with the people who are living in a uh, you know, non-drug non user neighborhood? Yeah, it's, it depends where you are. So we, in Neukölln we have no, no huge problems, but um, the people there um, have problems with needles in the parks. It's from the vending machine. Yes, it's we have um, normally we have colored pumps, uh -huh. and this 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 model is from the uh, vending machine. Yes. Here you can see somebody had uh, has to open it. It. It's called Malte because if they use the um, pump inside the needle, uh -huh. twice. Why? Because you, if you, if they have access to because um, they they are, they are hoping that in the filter is heroin inside. Ah, you know okay. they use a trice. Uh, okay. It's uh, horrible. <laughs> uh, so they want to collect the mm. stuff from. Yeah, it. yeah, exactly, exactly. So actually, the final solution would be to give them heroin. Yes, yeah. that's the final solution. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And a home. Yes. And a home. Yeah. Everybody is talking about healthcare, uh, uh, healthcare um, offerings and services, but uh, the main thing is the people need a flat, they need meals, and then you have. Uh, yeah, exactly. Do you include somehow the clients? Like, is there any user group or? organization that represents the drug users? Uh, yes, we, in Berlin we have um, Berlun, um, NGO for uh, drug using people from Russian-speaking areas. And yes, it's a very good organization and we're working together. 
Uh, and we have, uh, yes, Junkies, ehemalige und Substituierte, um, a self-help group who mainly um, are political activists. Do you have naloxone? Uh, yes, we have naloxone here, because we have here uh, medical staff and nurses, so it's allowed to have it here. Have you ever had overdoses? Of course, a lot. And you reverse that with naloxone, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. yeah it's, it's the best opportunity to, uh, to, to save life, to save the life uh, of drug, uh, drug users. It's not the main goal to re reduce the open drug scene in the public. Of course, it's an aim, it's one aim, but we, at first we are here for, uh, we are a healthcare service. We want that the people are healthy and, um, and that they don't uh, infected with HIV and hepatitis. Yeah. We want to save lives.